In this Blender 3.4 video, I'll show on a clear glass pane how to hide the shadow glass lines until the shadow happens. I'll start with modeling a pane of clear glass from a cube. Screencast keys are on. Subdivide the pane of glass six times. Set the transform pivot point to individual origins. So fracture the pane of glass. Set the noise to 1. Name the scene collection. Hide the original cube. Box select the cell fractured cube and scale in slightly. Select any fractured piece and under the Physics tab, make it Rigid Body Active. And while that piece is selected, box select all the pieces and under Object, Rigid Body, select Copy from Active. Test to make sure it worked. Install a floor, add a material, and make it rigid body passive. Unhide the original cube, select it, and go back to Rigid Body. Under Collisions, select Collections and move it to Layer 2. Select the floor, Shift D, and move that copy to Layer 2 as well. Now I'm selecting the ball, which is my animated object. Uh, any animated object will work. Select the original cube in the Outliner window. From the timeline, I'll move the ball 
again my animated object back one frame before it's going to hit the glass and I'll keyframe the camera icon. Leave the original cube selected. I'll move the ball one frame to the glass from the timeline. From the outliner, I'll disable the camera icon and keyframe it. In the outliner, shift select the shattered glass at impact and insert a keyframe on those camera icons. Takes a minute, but stay with it. With all the shattered glass still selected, move back one frame in the timeline. In the outliner, disable all those camera icons and keyframe them. Select the Scene Properties icon, check Rigid Body World, and under Cache, set the simulation to start when the ball hits the wall. I rendered under Cycles. Thanks for watching.